Hi there, this is Mike from MySolarHome.us with the latest video about the best portable power stations 2021. We'll be looking at six models today, the Rockpal 300, the Boulder 330, the EcoFlow 600, the Jackery 160, the Rockpal 200, and the Jackery 240. And we'll see what each portable power station can power as well as compare them with each other. So stick around. Let's start with the Rockpile 300. This retails for about $195. It's got a capacity of 280 watt hours and it's able to output 300 watts of AC. That's good enough to power most of your smaller devices. We'll get into that later. It has one AC outlet is it's got dual input and you can charge the unit together with DC as well as from the wall and you can do it fast. It's got a plethora of outputs, two USBs, one USB-C and there's a USB-C 30 watts. That's like the PD charger you see right at the bottom there. It weighs about eight pounds. And in terms of what this unit can power, as you can see here, it can power anything up to a desktop computer and that It'll power it for about 1.1 hour, but anything over that, like a blender, 350 watts, it won't be able to power because it doesn't have the AC capacity. Next, we have the Boulder 330, which retails for about $260. And in this, it's got a power capacity of 297 watt hours, AC output of 330, which is slightly more than the earlier model we saw. Again, a single AC outlet, everything, concentrated in the, farm, in, the, in the front, including a nice display with the battery status. It's got three USBs, 15 watts of power each, and one USB-C, 15 watts. So it's a little low powered in terms of the power output of the USBs, but two DC 12 volts, a cigarette charger, and the unit weighs about seven pounds. Easy to carry around, again, with it's got very similar power profile. Um, it can, you can use your desktop for about 1.2 hours, a fridge will run for about 1.5 hours, and it, you can't run anything higher than uh, 300 watts of this unit. This is pretty good for charging your laptop five to six times, um, running your TV or your Xbox for three hours. Next, you have the EcoFlow 600. This unit retails at $299. This is one of the units I like a little more than the others, primarily because it's got a nice high AC output of 600 watts. It's got a power of 288 watt hours, but a 600 watt output means you can run bigger devices using it. It's also got three AC outlets to take advantage of that. Something else that this guy enjoys is it's got a USB-C port, which is 100 watts of power. So you can charge your laptop or your, 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 um, your Mac really, really quickly. And another awesome thing is you can add batteries to this. You can add an extra battery to this and you can go from 288 to 576 watt hours. Gives you a lot of additional capacity. And this reflects all the devices it can power. As you can see here, you can go up, even use a blender in this, anything which is below 600 watts. Unfortunately, in my list, I the microwave is 650, but there are some microwaves which are less than 600 watts, which will run off this. So it's got decent amount of power and can run devices. And here's comparing the three of them together. As you can see, all of them are in the sub $300 range. Their power capacities are more or less the same at around about 300 watt hours, but the EcoFlow 600 has got a much higher AC capacity at 600 compared to the others. In terms of the USB outputs, again, the EcoFlow 600 scores because of the high powered USB-C output that it has. In terms of weight, it's slightly more than the others at 11 pounds, but it significantly wins on these other three. Now let's go to our next three. So we have the Jackery 160. This retails for about $140. Again, Jackery is a family which comes with a nice display showing your battery input, output, and your charging status. It's got an AC output of 100 watts, which is, and these, the next three that we're going to be talking about are smaller units compared to the first three we looked at. So the AC outputs will be smaller as well as the capacities. This one's got 100 watts of AC output, one AC outlet, and it's just got three USB uh, outlets. And But the USB-C is pretty reasonable at 30 watts, and it's got one 12 volt DC port. Usually all these power stations have two DC ports and one cigarette charging port. This 
unit has just one 12 volt DC port. In terms of a charging profile, smaller units, so they charge less. You won't be able to use a fridge or, or a desktop computer with this, but you're pretty good. You can use charge your phone about 33 times, your laptop about three times. You can run a drone or your Xbox. You can't run your drone or your Xbox, unfortunately, um, but you can run your TV uh, for about two hours. So that's pretty reasonable. Next, we have the Rockpaul 200 that retails for about 180 bucks. It's got a capacity of 230 watt hours and an AC output of 200 watts. Like all the smaller units, it's got one AC outlet. It's got four USB outlets, two regular USB, one USB-C at 30 watts, and one regular USB-C, which is about 20 watts, 15 to 20 watts. Again, the display is really nice on this one. The battery charging, how much input, how much output, and you can do that both simultaneously in this, and it weighs about 7.8 pounds. So in this selection of the smaller portable power stations, the Rockpaul is a pretty good choice, and it can do charging. Uh, you, you, can, you can use a refrigerator also with this unit, it will run for one hour, even smaller desktops. I mean, anything below 200 watts will run fine with this unit. You can run your drones and your Xboxes, the Jackery 240, the next in our selection is retails for $199 and it's got a power capacity of 240 watt hours. It's got a nice AC output, 200 watts compared to the earlier one where we talked about 100 watts. It's got 200 watts. Again, a limited number of outlets, one AC outlet, two simple USB, no USB-C in this guy and one cigarette charger output and there's no 12 volt output in this unit, which might be a problem for some of you campers. It's a little heavier than the earlier Jackery 160 that we looked at. Again, in terms of power, anything, maybe could do a desktop below 200 watts, but a fridge, it's, it's the outer limit is a large residential large home fridge, could do it for about 1.2 hours. You can play an Xbox for about 1.6 hours, charge your laptop five times and so if you look at the three of them together, they are all sub 200 and their power capacities, the Jackery 240 is the most 240 and the 60 with the 160 is the lowest at, at 167. Other than the Jackery 160, both of them have 200 watts of AC capacity. The power outlets in almost all of them are the same except that the Rockpaul 200 scores on the other two in terms of having five or four USB ports compared to the three and the two of the the other two. It also boasts of the usual two 12 volt DC and cigarette charges which the other two units from Jackery uh, are lacking. In terms of the Jackery 160 it scores because it's very light, it's smaller than the other guy even though it looks the same. And that brings us to the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed the six products that we showed here, all showcased here. If you liked this video please subscribe and like. Thank you and have a great day.